What's good, y'all? It's your homeboy Cam Quarter Banks, and yes, we are back at it again, and we are talking about my favorite time of the year. It's talking about the top trends that will be moving for this year of 2024. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Let's go. First trend that's going to be moving for the year of 2024 is minimalist style. It just simply means less is more. Minimalist style is more so a easier type of thing, but for people that like to be out there in the open, it can be a little bit difficult. The less is more situation can be kind of challenging because a lot of people like to wear a lot of branding. So in this way, it kind of forces you to create style and it can actually filter out the people that have style and the people that really just like to wear a lot of branding and consider themselves to have style because of those big brands that they wear. With minimalist style, you don't see loud colors, loud patterns, and you won't see a lot of branding that's displayed all over the entire outfit as if it's a billboard. When it comes to minimalist style, things that you should take into consideration is the fit, the cut, the patterns, the colors, like neutral colors instead of loud colors, so that means black, brown, white, gray, navy, things of such, and you wanna make sure that you are focusing on material as well. So if you wanna take on this minimalist style, I think it's gonna be a fire challenge for anybody that's in 2020 24 trying to upgrade their style because again it forces you again to find a particular style especially when it comes to being so limited with things that you could wear in order for you to fit the category of being minimalist next fashion trend is cropped pieces now we've seen it slowly but surely happening about two years ago when everybody started to have a boxier fit people started cropping their shirts just to give it a lift and they started adding on extra layers not only will you have a layer over a piece that you have but you will also create layer in length now what's crazy about this is a lot of people was against this style because a lot of people was into too much of their masculine way but a lot of people that's more so into fashion and style was accepting this challenge and they actually brought on some real stylish pieces and now it's being accepted into 2024 so what you're going to see is a lot of cropped jackets cropped hoodies shirts and even athletic wear but at the same time this is going to be something for you to express yourself if you really do feel like you could take on this challenge it'd be perfect for you to try it especially if you're not one of those people that just let your masculinity block your view of actually actually being stylish. Next fashion trend of 2024 is your botanical wear. This is a lot of the floral pieces that you will be seeing. Now slowly but surely this started to grow. You started to see these on a lot of denim wear. You started to see them on jackets as well and now they're starting to show their face a lot in 2024 as we move into spring. So not only will this be an island type of look, this will be an all around universal look that you can use in the spring, summer, and you could probably push it into the fall as well. But seeing botanical wear is something that's kind of common in fashion anyway. Now it's just being something that's trendier i don't see it being the biggest of trends when it gets closer to the fall but i can see this being something that's extremely popular in the spring and summertime another fashion trend for 2024 is going to be that old western style now this caught me by surprise and i was not expecting this but after seeing that louis vuitton fashion show this just took the world by storm now you see a lot of celebrities already being ahead of the game and you'll see a lot of celebrities wearing it now bad part about this is the cycle of life starts to happen when it comes to fashion celebrities get a hold of it influencers get a hold of it then it gets in lots of stores it's plastered everywhere from there everybody starts to wear this worldwide and then it slowly but surely starts to fade out until it's worn no more but if you are a stylish person i could see this being worn just about anywhere i could dig it it's something that a lot of people can wear anytime at any place but just remember there's a time and a place to be wearing this now you see these type of styles that's shown in a lot of these tv shows lately and i think that's where a lot of this inspiration came from but i don't see this being one of the leading styles for 2024 i see this being a small trend lasting only for a little while and then slowly but surely like i said fading out moving into the next trended piece for 2024 is your casual wear i can't tell you how excited i am for this because it actually moving us back in time simply because when a lot of people used to dress up they will wear casual pieces instead of just wearing street clothes like your denims and t-shirts and hoodies a lot of people are now getting out of that phase because it's no longer considered just a streetwear style it's more of your starter package for streetwear what people are now doing is styling themselves to the night. They're taking casual pants and putting hoodies with it. Or you'll see people wearing like a fitted cap, a crazy shirt, some nice casual pants, and they have some loafers on. Mixing up the style in between streetwear and casual wear and bringing this into a more lifestyle type of outfit. I think this is more fun because it gives people the opportunity to expand their style. This is for the more mature group and the younger generation. You'll see people that's in college or people that's living in their 30s and 40s. They actually using this type of style to mix it up just a little bit because we still have millennials that like to have fun and then you have the newer generation that also likes to have fun with bold colors 
Swift still wearing hoodies and fitted caps and things like that and mixing it up with this casual style. So now moving forward, you'll see a lot more casual wear that's gonna be worn in 2024. All right, y'all, now I just listed out some things that's gonna be trending for 2024 when it comes to styling and fashion. This is gonna be huge for 2024 because like I said, this is gonna actually force people to style. This actually filters out the people that can really style against the people that just likes to grab brands and wear these and be popularized because of the brands that they buy. But there's no shade to anybody that just likes to grab high-end designer piece. You like what you like. But what I am saying is just grabbing high-end designer pieces does not make you a stylish individual. Finding your style and using these pieces, whether it's expensive or inexpensive, and you know how to put these pieces together, that's what creates style. So if you're looking forward to maturing and updating your style, this will be the perfect gift for doing that. With that being said, I'll catch y'all with y'all next time. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarterbanks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holla at y'all. Peace.